like they're oh, just Oh, that's really cool. Out. Can they hear us? No. Okay, good. Uh, but I think we'll be getting into it soon. We're just doing button checks right now. So all of these players here are just absolutely phenomenal. And we're going oh, yeah. to uh, treetop some specifically high dive hideaway. <laughs> one of the first. I, I haven't gotten like, too good of a look at the doubles variant because they added this recently. Yeah, actually, yeah, this is the first time I've seen this layout for, for Hodon Highway specifically. Mm -hmm. They gave the monkeys a roof. They Oh, cool. And they're still in the hot tub. Yeah. Okay. A beautiful punish. Beautiful, beautiful punish there. Oh, my goodness. But Veko taking answers right back there. Try to edge guard Durai. Durai able to make it back to the stage. Actually, is still able to parry the... Uh, the the recovery in time. That's very, very tight iframes right there. Because uh, sometimes the or the little recovery uh, bust from forward sprint comes out a little bit too fast. But if you're able to just recognize the timing a bit and press the parry button when you can, it really comes a walk in the park, but it's still really difficult. Speaking of parries, nice parry punish from Heels Good there. They're gonna get the rise first stock, but Omar oh is doing God. a good job of holding on to his first stock. And he was going to actually had a very good drag down uh, combo starter, but oh, wh where did he go? He held out to I, the blast zone. He went. I guess maybe holding out was his only option because if he had held in like a little bit more center, he was already in range to get hit by like four air. Yeah, if you, if you notice, he did have the the propeller dagger on deck. So heals good was kind of in a between a rock and a hard place there. <laughs> yeah, at that point you kind of have to forcefully hold out. But I'm strong to finally kill. And uh, what did we get from the shop? It looks like the gear, actually. No, it's the momentum mail. Yeah. And turning yourself into a heavyweight doubles is going to be so useful. I uh, t tell me, uh, explain that a little bit. What momentum mail? Yeah. Uh, you have less traction, but you're heavier. Power because you have less traction, uh, you can do some things. Your wave dashes go further, and um, uh, you can hydroplane actually. Okay. It's it's very it's very fun to play with. It feels very good to move with. <laughs> but like the the big upside being you're slightly heavier and you move faster. Both are like kind of double-edged swords because your positioning on things will be a bit different. But in a situation where so much is happening, being able to live longer is definitely a boon rather than a bane. Makes sense. I was strong. Not going to kill all Could the way. Oh, no. Actually got a reversal up there because we saw um, we saw Omar go for uh, up air off the top with the sh like from the Shovel Knight. Um, instead, actually got reversaled. And heals good, uh, kill them with up air, that's sad. This is very doable for Omar right now, despite the 2v1. Oh. However, it doesn't matter if you're just getting a ladder to the top, jungled by that silver up air. Triple up air from the top. <laughs> I wonder what Darai has explained to Omar right now. Like Maybe just like a, a changing game plan saying, it's like, hey, I, I did this, I'll try and like change things up. Yeah. I. If you're Darai and uh, Omar in this case scenario, what uh, what adaptations do you think we would make? Because I don't think there was that like they weren't in trouble as much that first game, but I felt like stage control wise, back going kills go were kind of like having better control of the stage, like in center. Uh, I'd say maybe bully the Sylph more. Sometimes you can get away with that, but like. I don't think they were doing anything wrong necessarily. It's just oh. they need to like do what they were doing, but just slightly better. Sometimes that's all you can do. Nice oh. down air into the sweet spot. Oh my god, how many backers can you do? Uh, enough to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, absolutely insane offstage play. They from both teams right now. That just to be Tempest, though. You got that side flag, you can just kind of afford to go a little crazy because you have a bit of a safety net. Yeah, very. And I think the stage laid out is uh, helping Darai a lot 
like a lot more because he, he's got more platforms to slide around with <laughs> as well. And actually, okay, that was a good placement with the bubble too, actually, because that helped Darai in that recovery scenario. Oh, he rolled through it and couldn't, and Darai couldn't see. Yeah, well, able to DI that back here, but Veko has an edge guard opportunity. Actually, sending Darai back to stage. Now, heals get off stage. Ow, jeez. But that down air, they're sending Veko into a place he can't necessarily recover. Oh, no. Oh, they gotta gonna get do? this. They gotta get these stocks on the board and quick, just like that. Omar doing a great job with that DI though. Yeah, but finally up here from Darai is gonna take that stock from Eels Good. But these backers from Veko able to not fully secure the edge guard, but that was like four in a row. And mm -hmm. yeah, we're seeing some absolutely nutty <sighs> walls of pain, and Darai unfortunately getting caught by the back air. And like I mentioned earlier. You know, when, you're, when your teammate, even if they are had a high percent, has that second stock, it's sometimes just better to go for that so they're not forced <laughs> into a 2v1. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, it, I like the backer attempt, but Upstrong is going to do that. That, that capes is kind of stupid. Frustratingly stupid. Mm -hmm. yeah, like that overextension from Durai earlier costing him dearly right now. But is he going to be able to do it nice? Fair on the sill. Tries to go for the ledge cancel, but Heelskin oh. is waiting. Yeah, and thankfully for Heelskin, he has all those poison darts off of him. So <laughs> that kind of put him in a good scenario, because when you have poison darts on your stock right there, and you get caught in the bubble, I did mention this before, uh, when you have those on you and you get in the bubble, that means how long, how much longer you're going to be in the bubble for. Zorai trying to put his bubble in a better position, find his way off stage, but the cape saves him! Oh my god, if Zorai space it is so well right now. He's, he's caught in this left side here, he's got to get back. Darai trying to find a position for the opening, but Fekko and Healsgood are just not giving it to him. And this camping on the side flat. Oh no! But oh, he let it rip too early! That might cost him the game. But probably. Darai sitting at 165 years, gotta watch out. Because Healsgood could just position a backer right near the platform. Or a down air. Oh! The that's it. Phenomenal deck. Deck chase. Tech chase! <laughs> deck into, chase. The, into the down strong <laughs> from Healsgood there. That was so close, especially after you're accidentally KOing your teammate. Yeah, and in, in those scenarios, if you're the one like behind and you and you notice that, that like, your opponent's teammate just kills themselves, it's like, okay, now you'll just give me that. Now yeah. I'm in a one v one, but which can be harder, but it's like half a blessing in disguise, if you will, because that just gives you enough like enough time to adapt for like a if you're in a one v one situation. Uh, and we did go to random stage, uh, and we are seeing Air Armada. Just gonna let it rip. So I don't know about this. I, I, I don't know about this pick. I, I mean, like it's a good silv stage when he's actually on stage, but his recovery can hurt a little bit because he can't recover from as low because there's no walls. Oh, right, right. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Yeah, we I did see Durai contemplating the crack switch, but just letting it. Stick out with the with the Rano smart. Unfortunately, whiffs that that up strong after the down tilt. Oh, what a good pair in the recovery. Gotta get that down strong too. That was beautiful, uh, beautiful placing for Darai. A beautiful chasing from Omar there on heels good. Blue team both down a stock right now. Oh my God, F strong. Oh, these four years off stage. Darai able to make it back there. Good uh, little tongue slide actually to get back to stage. Can you parry that? Parry what? Uh, the the tongue glide or whatever it's called. Uh, when Rano is first releasing the tongue, like you know how you can parry it normally when he's grabbing. Yeah. You can do that. It's like just similarly in the air. Uh huh. But like once it makes contact with the ground or someone, you can't parry it. Okay, gotcha. So blue team doing a good job of managing to even up the stock count. I don't know how much longer those stock guns are going to remain, even though. Just like oh. that, to parry into the backer, no wall jump. Yeah, but that put red team in a very good spot there, right? Because if you notice at their percentages, uh, Darai and uh, Darai and Omar have, have much better percentages for their stocks because mm -hmm. they're in a whole lead. Yeah, no, they are sitting very comfy right now. Oh, it is definitely an uphill battle for blue team. And I love the little patience for Darai there to get uh, the bubble out. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
What's the punish? Like, someone's gotta go for somebody. <laughs> I don't know. But we're just kind of seeing poor heels good getting kind of bounced around by everyone, including his teammate. I, I kind of don't like these uh, down tilt chase uh, Dacus is starting to ride. He's missed like four of these. It is applying pressure at least, and right now Vecco is in the 2v1. It's going to be hard to make it back. Is he going to go through the stage? No, but Darai is ready. <laughs> and no 3 0. Yeah, no 3 0. Thankfully, Darai uh, saving all of that. And we got ourselves a game four. <laughs> uh, so that, you know, like you said, that, that stage uh, actually kind of worked out better for. Um, that worked out better for Darai and Omar, like controlling a lot more off the, off the stage. Uh, do we see a Tower of Heaven pick? Now this is really, I don't like going to Tower of Heaven like against Forsburn specifically, but that, then again though, Durai and Omar probably have a game plan on this that we're not aware about probably. Maybe, but this is um, Heals Good and Vecco's counter pick. Yeah, I know. I was just saying like ah. uh, for what are Durai and uh, Omar going to do to even like the set count back up to game five on this counter pick. I don't know, but they've got a lot of work to do. Look at that percent count. Durai sitting near death, unfortunately gets hit by Omar's Nair. And Omar gets hit by Heels Good. I'm strong. Oh, oh, man, both sucks. already down a stock. And that sucks too when you're in those scenarios like where you're not able to like, per like if you think you perfect DI and then you drifted outward, that sucks because you can't like, you can't reset it again. So you're already caught like, you're already stuck in the offstage scenario. Just you have to kind of accept it at this point. Yeah, it's just like that sometimes. But still, the counter pick is working out great for for blue team. Yeah, throws a single needle. Not uh, going too much with that. Slide Dacus there is actually going to do the stock finally. And can Durai seal a Veko stock? Uh, Almost. No, I, I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with like going immediately off stage like that. Oh, the Donald oh. Trunk is going to take the right stock, and that backer almost killing Omar, but unfortunately <laughs> killing heals good. That guy's still on his first stock. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't even notice that. He's, he's doing a great job. Omar almost securing it, though, off of that up strong. Oh, these needle placements are really good for Durai, but. Uh, was that a down strong that killed uh, yes. Omar? Okay. Okay, back there. Finally going to take out Vecco's first stock, but... But blue team is the one sitting very comfortably in this game four. Yeah, they're moving around these platforms very, very well. But Ford are finally uh, securing that stock and sending heals good to the bottom. Thankfully, is able to have it somewhat even 2v2 despite Vecco <gasps> being forced onto his last stock. Oh my gosh. Oh, parries the up tilt. Down the strong. Gonna do it. Oh no. Oh, this is not a good situation. Not the best di 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 that we've seen for Durai, but now we're in a 2v1 situation here. Hills good. Got Omar off stage. Omar able to make it back just by a hair. Oh no, caught in the middle. This is a bad situation. This percent no. keeps racking. That was a good drift away to avoid that up here. That was very important. Mm -hmm. uh, these two who are trying to get that team combo started. But it is tricky. It's trickier than it looks. You gotta practice them. Yeah, what's the recovery here? Burns resources, no. drifts too far back. Still had wall jump. Amazing I, use oh. of resources. Unfortunately, DI'd back. Yeah, and that will be that will be places for uh, Darai and Omar out at uh, seventh. seventh place. Still, I actually, I actually thought they were gonna force that back to game five. So did I. Uh, but you know that tower heavy game, just you had, you had heal, he had heals good on the bottom, controlling, uh, controlling the bottom, and Vecco had a little bit more control near the top, which is very scary. You don't not want to be uh, against Forest Burn like near the top on Tower Heaven specifically, because did you know how close that uh, blast on ceiling is? Especially near that top plat. Yeah, and. <laughs> You know, with having Forrest burn in that situation, uh, I'd suggest you just go all the way back down to the bottom. Hey, I mean, you might have um, a certain Forrest Floor doggy 